Welcome back to Art by Brooke. I'm Brooke and today we're doing another paint pour on top of a 3D printed vase type item. So this one is really fun because it's kind of like a spiral pattern and I've kind of primed it with gesso but couldn't really get into the edges very well and I really just wanted these top parts primed because I think that the paint will mostly go in the middle and I wanted something on these top ridges in case no paint goes there. So I just wanted to experiment with this a little bit. Here's like the inside it has this kind of tornado look to it, which is pretty cool. So um, in my recent video, I did my second paint pour on a 3D printed item and used blues, greens, a little bit of gray, not much, um, just to help it flow and some white. And this one, I'm gonna use the same color scheme, but I have a little bit of paint left from my last pour. So I think for this one, I'm going to do mostly a clean pour, but using the rest of my dirty pour kind of in the middle and just see if that changes the way it looks. Most of this is just experimenting. I haven't really poured on these types of shapes before. So we're kind of learning together. So I'm gonna do kind of a time-lapse video so you can just watch me as I pour and let me know what you think at the end. After adding that blue, most of my dirty pour is gone. So this is mostly just gonna be a clean pour. We'll see how it goes. So I just have to take a minute to show you this amazing pattern that it's creating in the bottom. Take a look at that. Now I kind of wish I had put an actual canvas under here for pouring, but I didn't, the last couple haven't really turned out very great. So I just decided to do plastic because I can always turn the paint into pendants, which these would make really cool pendants as well. But, uh, I think I might have him print me another one of these just to see, um, to use it maybe as the pouring um, vessel to get the paint onto a canvas. So instead of pouring with the intention of cover covering the vase correctly, maybe just paint with the intention of getting the cool texture on the canvas. Let me know if you'd like to see that and I might see if he can print me another one of these. So let's take a look around the whole thing. It's still dripping, it's still gonna be changing for quite a while, but let's take a look. Oh, I love that texture at the bottom. It looks like maybe feathers. I wonder if it would look more like feathers stretched out. So thanks for watching and I will be posting the dried picture of this on my Instagram account which will be in the description below. Let me know if you'd like to see some of these vases finished in videos. I will do that if you if that's something you're interested in but if you just want pictures feel free to check out the Instagram account and thank you again. I really appreciate everyone who's been watching and commenting and liking. Um, I, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more from me and feel free to let me know if there's something you'd like to see me try or something else you'd like me to see me do or anything you'd like to see me do again. I'm super interested in anything that you are curious about. Thanks for supporting me and have a great day.